All right. Uh, so good morning to one and all of you guys. Uh, so we are going to continue our discussion uh, on uh, the, you know, uh, the terminologies of, you know, related to Oracle Identity Manager. So I believe uh, if you remember, we have covered uh, some of the basic terminology starting with resource object and then we moved on to, you know, uh, process task adapters process I mean I would say process form adapters and then uh, you know in just the previous module we uh, created uh, the pre-populate adapters and uh, attaching the pre-populate adapter to the process form yeah so now uh, we are going to primarily uh, take one more important terminology which is the process definition or the process task okay so let me uh, just uh, write it down here. Uh, I hope you're all able to see my screen, okay? So we are going to talk about the process definition and process form, yeah? Oh, sorry, the process task. We have already seen process form, okay? Now it's just the process definition and the process task, okay? So uh, basically the process definition, I would say, it's, uh, you know, in any provisioning process, okay? So uh, uh, whenever the user account is getting uh, uh, provision from OIM, okay? So there will be a logical full of steps involved in a provisioning process, uh, right from uh, the account getting, uh, I mean, uh, right from the, uh, the uh, you know, the user getting uh, provision or the identity getting created in OIM to the user account getting provision, okay? there will be sequence of logical steps involved in the entire provisioning process and each step okay uh, in the particular process flow or uh, the provisioning process flow okay uh, we call it as a process task okay so for example if uh, oim uh, in a you know for a user uh, when uh, whenever an account is getting provisioned in oim okay so there will be some uh, task that gets created and that we call it as a process task, okay? Similarly, whenever the user uh, uh, password is getting changed or when his first name is getting changed or last name is getting changed, all these are the various provisioning processes, right? So uh, for each and every uh, process, okay, there will be a process task that, that gets triggered in OM, okay? So uh, the primary reason why I'm sharing my screen is, you know, if you see here, I've just uh, opened uh, the test uh, user account, okay? Well, one of the user account that uh, that we created as a test account, okay? And uh, you can see that uh, Windows account is getting provisioned, it's already provisioned successfully to this user. And if I just select this particular, uh, you know, account that got provisioned successfully, okay? Uh, I just select this and go to the resource history here, okay? And uh, after I, Okay, so after I uh, clicked on resource history, this particular tab gets open. Okay, so here, uh, let me close this again for you. And then, so when I just click on the resource history, there will be something, various tasks like system validation, create task or create user task and so on. Okay, so here uh, in this particular demo, I am just going to show you one particular uh, you know process task, like how, uh, how the process task gets created uh, in the process definition, okay? So that we are going to discuss now, okay? So let's quickly get into the demo now, okay? So the process definition is basically, you know, the, the logical sequence of steps uh, in uh, the user provisioning process. And every process in our definition would be broken down into a series of steps. And that particular step is called a process task, okay? So that's a quick summary about it. Let's quickly get into the process, uh, you know, demo now. So here I'm, I've just logged on to the design console. Okay, so um, here I'm just uh, clicking on the or expanded the uh, the process management uh, tree uh, or the node, and then I've just clicked on process definition. Okay, so as soon as you click on this process definition, I'm going to close all this and reopen it once again. Okay. So here, this is the one that you get. And when I just click on the table view, you will see the process definition, the various process definitions that are already existing, okay? 
So if you see, we have already installed uh, the Active Directory Exchange service now. And uh, you know, I've just created one test process definition one. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to create a new process definition, okay? So let's double click one more time here. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to use uh, or the same naming convention which we followed uh, well, right from creating the resource object, okay? So I'm just going to create it like CyberSec, okay? CyberSec process definition, okay? So I'm just going to give it like process def, okay? Just to identify that it is a process definition, okay? And then the type of going to be the provisioning process here, okay? And then the object name, I'm just going to associate with the CyberSec resource object, okay? And here the table name would always be the, you know, the process form which we created, okay? in our previous module. If you remember the process form, it actually stores the various identity attributes, right? So it stores the various target system identity attributes. Okay, I hope you would be able to recollect that. So I'm just going to click on that, okay? And uh, so I'm just going to save this here, okay? So now the process definition uh, with the name CyberSec process definition has been created, okay? So as soon as the process definition is created, okay, now you can see the various options getting enabled automatically, okay? So these are the various tasks, default tasks that gets created, okay? So this is the system validation task uh, that you see by default when you open the resource history, okay? The system validation one. And so there will be some couple of tasks related to reconciliation, insert received, update received, delete received, and so on, okay? Which we'll be discussing when we talk about the reconciliation, okay? So here, the similarly, you have something for service accounts, okay? All right, so now I'm going to quickly create, create one process task, okay? That is for creating the user. So whenever the user account is getting created, the process task uh, called a create user gets triggered. So how we are going to you know, configure that here, we are going to see. So click on add now, okay? So as soon as you click on add, this window op opens up. So here you can just give something like, you know, create user. create user process task, okay? So just to identify, you can give any name of your choice, okay? So I'm just going to give it like process, create user process task, okay? So here you can set the various uh, uh, duration uh, parameters, like, you know, how, how, uh, how long the process task, you know, would be, um, uh, you know, the duration of the particular process task uh, to uh, remain active and so on, okay? And then, here you can also set the process task you know uh, to get triggered based on some condition so here if you select that it will be a conditional process task one okay and this option required for completion would always be you know uh, selected by default here okay so this is the one okay and then required for completion and you have the various attributes here okay so i'm just going to select uh, as or i'm just going to retain all these parameters as it is okay and now, if you just click on the integration tab, okay. So here, um, we'll be associating a process task to either an event handler or an ad adapter, okay. So uh, if you remember, we talked about what an adapter is. It's uh, basically, you know, a piece of code, a Java code that extends the logic of the functionality of OAM. Similarly, event handler is again another piece of code okay, which will be uh, getting triggered or attached to the various orchestration processes. okay? So um, the process task would be attached either to an event handler or an adapter, okay? So now I'm going to uh, quickly, yeah, uh, just a minute, uh, guys. So let me just save this for you. Uh, let me just save the process task here, okay? Okay, so now, yeah, so after we save this, you'll be able to associate this. So here, as you can see, it could be associated either to an adapter. You can see the various adapters that are already there, okay, or to a system even handler, okay. So I'm just going to uh, make this as a TC complete task, okay, even, hand, uh, even handler, okay. Uh, 
because i just want this process task to get completed based on some event uh, some uh, based on some code okay so that i'm going to associate as a tc complete task okay and then i'm just going to save this here so it says tc complete task was successfully added okay now if you want this task to be dependent on some other task you can actually you know uh, make these configuration here either for a dependent task or a preceding task and moving on quickly to the response tab okay okay so this is basically the response that you see here okay if i just click on the create user here so here you will see something called the response here okay so when we when we just click on uh, you know click inside the each process task okay in the identity self service console page okay so i'm just navigating i'm just switching from design console to user inter, uh, no identity self service console so yeah so here you can see there is some response commands so whenever the process task gets completed successfully you can actually uh, set a, some response uh, description saying like successfully completed or success and so on okay so all those configurations would be getting triggered from here okay so i'm going to quickly add this saying uh, success here okay successfully completed okay here and now i'm going to uh, double click on the status uh, column here as you can see whenever the in the design console whenever any column or a field is highlighted in blue it means it's a lookup field so you have to just double click on it and you will be able to select or pick the values from uh, one of them okay so here uh, i just want this process task to get completed whenever the status you know is c is responding to completed status i'm just mapping this code a lookup code c to to show that this particular response would be uh, linked to the completed status okay and then yeah so finally if you see here if i just click on the task to object status mapping it means whenever the resource object okay here whenever the resource object i want this to be successfully provisioned okay so i'm just going to uh, okay i think i'm i'm just not able to just you know when i just double click on it it should ideally populate here but let me just yeah i think now it's just taken some time so i just select this completed so which means that whenever the object status the resource object is successfully provisioned you know it is mapped to the process task with the completed status okay so i'm just saving this here okay so i just close all this okay so now i'm just going to save this process definition so that's it so that's the you know end of this module guys so we just saw what a process definition is okay and then uh, with a process definition it's just the logical flow of steps uh, involved in a provisioning process and each sequence or sub steps of uh, yeah, you know um, in the provisioning process we call it as a process task so uh, we just you know saw where these process task uh, you know are getting triggered okay and how are we going to configure it in the design console okay so that's the end of the module guys uh, thanks for pa patiently listening to me thank you